hi friends welcome back so in this video i will be discussing about uh, the defect classes in software testing what is all about defect classes and also i am going to discuss in detail with the examples of various uh, defect classes in this video so let us first understand what is all about a defect classes in software testing defects or bugs are categorized into different classes based on their nature of the defects, severity of the defects, impact of the defect on the software application. So based on these various uh, different uh, categories, we are going to classify our defects. So I am going to give a few examples. So what are the some of the common defect classes which we have defined in software testing along with the examples in this video. First classification of defects is functional defects. The functional defects are nothing but these defects occur when software does not perform according to the specified requirement, the specified functional requirement in that perspective that those defects we call it as a functional defects if you take an example if you take an example of bank application here bank application allows the user to transfer funds from one account to another account the transfer funds here is transferring the money from one account to another account but during this operation it deducts the transfer functional deducts the wrong amount from the sender account for example if sender tries to send 100 rupees if it is try to deduct 1000 rupees then there is a functional issue is there where which is calculation is completely doing wrong from that perspective those defects we call it as a functional defects where it is not performing as specified in the functional requirements then the second type of defects we are talking about here is interface defects interface defects are the defects when there are inconsistencies or issues with the user interface or application programming interfaces which is api in that matter if you take just a web application if you try to click on submit button if that submit button is not responding when we try to click that means which is preventing user from submitting their data to the application here there is a interface issue is there where well, submit button is not interfaced properly with the web application that is kind of defects categorized or classified as a interface defect and the next type of defect which is performance defect the performance defects here yeah, the main motto or main manifestation in this performance defects are related to the speed of the application responsiveness of the application or scalability of the application if any of the issues which you found in terms of speedness responsiveness or scalability we will be logging the defect under performance defect category if you take an example in the mobile application per se if you take an example of mobile application if that application itself if it takes huge time to open up or load the application or whenever we're trying to operate using that mobile app if it is taking too much time for traversing from one page to the another page or one screen to the another screen then the user definitely will get frustration when user get too much frustration it may happen that uh, customer may leave your mobile app very quickly and there is a high bounce rate will happen if you are not handling this uh, performance defect issues the next type of issues which we talk about here is compatibility defects the, the compatibility defects normally we log when the software fails to work correctly across different platforms different platforms in that mean it can talk about different web browsers we can talk about different operating systems or we can talk about different devices or different hardware configuration any of this combination 
if there is a compatibility issues are happening then we log those defects under this compatibility defect category if we take an example a website displays incorrectly on certain browser if certain functionality is clearly working in uh, firefox browser if the same thing which is not working in google chrome or internet explorer then there is a issue of compatibility uh, because it only works in a specific browser same thing is not working in a different browser that kind of issues we will be logging under compatibility defects category and the next type of defects we talk about security defect the security defects involves vulnerabilities that can exploit it to compromise the confidentiality integrity or availability of the software or its data for example a web application store user password in a plain text this is very insecure way of handling the data where uh, if something uh, without encryption if user password is getting stored that means anybody can access or anybody can access or act the database and they can retrieve the password then there is a big data breach will happen if we are not going to handle this kind of situation and we will be logging that kind of issues under defect of security defects category and the next one is usability defects the usability defects here we are talking about more on uh, ease of use we are we are more focusing on ease of use as well as uh, navigation of the application for the end user if the usability is not handled properly user interface is not handled properly then all those issues will be logged under this usability defect classification if you take an example a software application lacks a clear instruction or guidance making it challenges for user to perform common tasks such as account setup here we should be giving a clear instruction what how to create an account what are the steps to create account if we are not able to provide all those things then we log those defects under usability defects and the next type of defects classification is data defects the data defects occurs when there are inaccuracies inconsistencies or corruption in the data processed or displayed by the software if there is a data is getting corrupted or if we are seeing a inconsistency of data from one page to another or if it is not able to process or if it is not able to retrieve the data accurately then all those issues will be categorized under data defects if you take an example a finance software application here if the calculation which it makes by the application or functionality if its interest rates are not calculating properly then it may leads to create uh, inaccurate financial reports and inaccurate transaction amount that leads to bigger challenges for the customer or to the end user hence all those issues will be logged under data defects category the next type of defect category is documentation defects the documentation defects we normally we log against uh, user manuals help guide technical specifications etc if there is any issues or errors or any omissions which is there as part of the software documentation then we will be logging those defects under this documentation defect category example the user manual for a software product contain outdated or incorrect instruction causing confusion among user trying to troubleshoot issues that kind of issues will be logged under documentation defects and the next type of defects we do is installation or deployments of defects the installation or deployment defects arise when there are problems during installation or deployment of the software during that time if you find any issues we are logging under this classification which is installation or deployment of defects if you take an example a mobile app fails to install on certain devices due to compatibility issues with the device operating system version then uh, we will be logging that kind of 
defects under this installation or deployments defects and the next type of defects we log here is reproducibility defects the reproducibility defects are those that occur sporadically or inconsistently or difficult to reproduce very effectively if you are not able to do that then we will be logging those defects under the category of reproducibility defects if an example an intermittent software crash that occurs randomly under specific condition but cannot be consistently replicated or reproduced during the testing and we will be logging those defects under the category of reproducibility defect. So these are the various uh, defect classification which we normally make in the software testing area. I hope you guys got a clear idea how to classify the defects under various different buckets. If you guys really like this video and if you guys got a clarity or information regarding this topic then click on like button if you guys are not subscribed do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care